Right, my name is Jeff Blair and I'm a uh, mechanical engineer with Civicon. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to replace a spool on our new version of the SCP and uh, the difference between the old SCP and the new one. Uh, you will start seeing the new version uh, August of 2018. The new upgraded features on this Civic Control 2 is it has replaceable spools and more chemically resistant O-rings. The easiest way to tell the difference between the old version and the new version is the black knobs. Uh, the new ones have the black knobs, the old ones are silver. The purpose of this video is to show you how to replace a spool on the new version of the SCP. Uh, the first step is to ensure that there's no air going to your civic control to, especially the uh, lower air control blocks, which we're gonna be replacing the spool on. The next step is to pull the knob out on the spool that you're going to replace. You'll take a 1 16th inch hex wrench and loosen the set screw on the knob. You will not need to take it all the way out. You'll then want to turn it so that you have access to this hole on the spool. Next you'll, uh, you'll take a hex wrench, put in this hole to hold onto the shaft, and you'll grab the knob to remove it. Then you'll push the, uh, push the spool through the back and remove it. Next you'll take your uh, new spool and uh, apply a small amount of grease to the o-rings. We recommend using a, uh, a Parker Super O-Lube or a, a Molly Coat 33. Make sure you get all the O-rings. All right, you'll uh, take your new spool, put it through the back, push it all the way through. You'll then take uh, Loctite 242, put a little bit on the threads. You'll take your your knob, thread onto the spool, then you'll take your uh, your hex wrench, put it back through the hole, hand tighten, then you'll turn it so you have access to your uh, set screw, take your 1 16th inch hex key and tighten. Now you're done with the uh, reassembly. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, visit civicon.com or uh, call our technical hotline. Thanks for watching.